G'day everyone and welcome back. I hope you had a mad Christmas and New Year's. Now I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while but it's been pretty hectic with family and kids and whatnot. But um, I've got a bit of a tinny mod to do today and so in this video I'm going to be stalling this um, marine water separating fuel filter. Alright, so this is a job I've wanted to do for a while because I've only got that little fuel filter inside the motor, which if you've watched my servicing video, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. So this is a bit of an, a bit of an insurance policy if in case I get water in the fuel. And uh, this one has a glass bowl at the bottom, so if you, you can look at it, if you see any fuel, you can drain it straight out. So um, it's a job I've been meaning to do for a while and uh, finally getting around to doing it now. So it comes in three parts. The, the top where the fuel lines come in and out of, that's the filter. And then that's the glass bowl that goes on the bottom. You can see it's got this little tap. So if you see any water or sediment in there, you can drain it out. All right, so I've got the, the fittings all in place with a little bit of thread tape. I'm just going to assemble the filter properly now with some lubricant on the, the seals and the o-ring. Now the instructions for this separator says to use some oil or some grease to lubricate the seals. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've just got a bit of the Honda engine oil and I'm just going to put a, a small film on all the seals. So just a really light smear of the engine oil on that one and then thread that back on. Like so, just hand tight in the bowl. Now I keep referring to this as a glass bowl. It's actually plastic, but um, it's just a term. Another real tiny smear and put it together. All right, she's all done. Let's go put it in the boat. Right, so this is where I have the fuel tank in my boat. It's under the casting deck on the port side and the fuel line runs down underneath the seat along the bottom of the boat there and around the back and up to the motor. Now this is where I'm going to put the, the fuel separator so it will just fit down on there like that. Now you can see how tight it was going to be to get the fuel line to come up to get into the separator there. So it's lucky with these things, you can have the lines coming in and out on the same side. So I'll be able to stick that right up against the seat and I'll still be able to get the hoses in and out. Right, so I've got some stainless bolts to bolt it on with. Um, as always, just using some Duralac to separate the alloy from the stainless to prevent the dissimilar metal corrosion. Right, next job, cut the fuel line so it routes up there and into that part of the filter. All right, so I've cut the fuel line to length. Got a stainless steel hose clamp. Put that on and push it in. Oh, there we go. So this is just like a split conduit. It helps protect the the fuel lines from UV and mechanical damage. All right, I'll keep that like that. Perfect. Right, so now I'm just going to use the new fuel line to make the new line to the motor from the water separator. Oh, a little bit of a spillage. Probably should get some more of these. 
for here rather than these press on ones. Now I just got to put the fuel bulb back on. Sort of out there. All right, there's the fuel bulb in. Then that just pushes on there. Done. She's all hooked up. I will get some conduit to cover the, the rest of the line, but all that's left now to do is prime the bulb, test fuels coming through and run the motor. Under the vent, I start priming. Hopefully, we'll see some fuel come out of there. Here we go. Yes, you can see that. Got fuel coming in. Come on. Oh. There we go. Now it's coming up through the line. And into the motor. Fuel's pressurized in the line. Now I can't see any leaks. Perfect. So all I've got to do now is run it now. Because of this drain leaks into the bilge, you have to be really careful. So I'll have to check that all the time to make sure it's not leaking. I mean, ideally you want like a little, little aluminium catch tank or just something welded on there. So if it does leak, it goes into that first and not into the bilge, but that's just something I'll have to I'll have to keep an eye on. Now you look at it here and if you do see dirt or any water sitting in here, I'll just put a cup or um, my build, my baler under there. Then I'll just turn this and that's it. Fuel drains out. You drain the water out and then you do it back up. Just like that. All right, so the filter separator is all set up. Uh, I'm just going to run the motor now, make sure it can draw the fuel through it. And um, that'll be pretty much it. Let's fire her up. Hey. that run for a couple of minutes to make sure there's no dramas and uh, yeah I think that's another mod done well that's it. Water separator is installed. Turned out pretty neat. Seems to be all working all right. So as I said before, that's just one little extra level of insurance to protect the engine from dirty fuel. So she's all good to go. Hopefully I'll be out on another tinny adventure soon. So once again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Check out their website uh, and grab some merch. Support the channel and I'll see you next time. Cheers.